What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how I customize this G-Shock watch. And guess what? It's a lot easier than you think. Check it out. We'll start by removing the two side screws with a small Phillips screwdriver. Then we'll remove the pin with this, a watch band pin removal tool. Great name, right? The forked tip of this tool makes it easy to slide the pin to the side so you can lift the band out. Of course, we'll repeat this process for both sides. Then I'll use the opposite flat side of this tool to remove the clasp. And next, we'll work at removing the bezel cover. This has quite a tight fit, but as you'll see, debris does get underneath, and it, along with everything else, will need a good cleaning. I'll start with a bath of warm soapy water and a rinse for all parts in preparation for painting. Most of the taping for the watch is pretty straightforward, but I am getting a little bit fancy here, making two parallel curved cuts to protect the small words on the bezel. I'll be using another technique to cut a piece of tape the exact size to protect that nice G-Shock logo. For the G-Shock logo, I made a rubbing on the watch itself, and I'll use this impression to cut the tape to size. It's best to use transparent paper for this technique, because as you see, I'm placing tape directly over the rubbing, and as I flip the paper over, I can still see the impression left by the rubbing, allowing me to cut through the paper and the tape to make the perfect tape size. Now all that's left to do is to separate the tape from the paper, but be extremely careful if you're going to do it the way I'm doing it. I also think it's a good idea to tape the bottom of the bands. This is the part that touches your skin and we really just don't want paint on it. And just like that, it's time to paint. Thank you. 
After drying about 30 minutes, the paint will still be a little bit tacky, but it's the ideal time to begin to remove the tape. Before reassembly, I let the paint cure a long time, like three or four days, and honestly, I say the longer the better. But as you can see, it's now time to start the reassembly. Thank you for joining us on this customizing experience. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one.